Yeah. Okay, I don't have to pay a single dollar from my pocket for a grant. What kind of grant? Oh, and I don't have to pay a dime for it. Okay, not a loan, so I don't have to pay it back. So what do I have to do to get this grant? Okay, and what de what department? Department of Funds. United States Department of Funds. And this time my department has chosen education as their medium. But Mr. Hatko, you don't have to worry about that because this is not an enrollment process. You won't be getting enrolled anywhere, okay? Okay. As because our medium is education, all you need to do is you have to just promote education in this phone call to get yourself qualified to receive your free grants, okay? Okay. That's all you have to do, okay? So how much how much is this grant worth? I beg your pardon? How much is this grant worth? Well, so I told you we are not authorized to disclose the amount like how much you're receiving, okay? Oh, so but you... I can assure you that but I can assure you that but right after this call the whole information is about the grant, like how much you are going to receive and when you are going to receive it. Each and every information about the grant will be mailed at your email, okay? Oh so we don't have to worry about that, alright? Okay. So so let all me right. ask you so let me one... let me ask you a question. Box. Let me ask you a question. You're, you're going to give me this, sure. you're, I'm going to get this grant, now what can I use this grant for? Well, so you can use this grant for anything, okay? Like you can use it for your personal uses, or you can just start up a business, you can even save it for your future, anything, okay? Okay. It's your grant, it's up to you how you would like to use it, okay? Yeah. Is that okay with you, Mr. Axel? So, so I can start a business with this grant? Yeah, you can do anything, okay? And you can even build up a new house for you. Uh, anything, okay? Okay. Cool. And let me tell you that, Mr. Hartful, to receive this grant, you don't have to go anywhere, because it will be directly delivered at your doorstep in your street moving address. Is that okay with you? Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Alright. So, before that, Mr. Hartful, I just need to verify a few details about you, so please cooperate, okay? Okay. I'll cooperate. Alright, so the first question is that I can see that you are a U.S. citizen and you are over 18, am I correct? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So do you have any high school diploma or a GED? Absolutely. Oh, what do you have? Uh, oh, a high school diploma. Oh, okay. So what was the year when you received your high school diploma? 1991. 1991, okay. And Mr. Hatko, I do believe that currently you are not enrolled in any school or colleges, am I correct? Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, what's your age? How young are you today? How young am I? Uh, I'm 46. Uh -huh. How young are you today? I'm 46. How young are you? 46. All right. How old are you? So, Mr. Hat beg your pardon? How old are you? Are you asking from age? Yes. <laughs> well, it's 28. You're 28? Uh -huh. You got a high profile job, don't you? For twenty eight years old. I'm I'm impressed. Uh, Alright, so Mr. Hatfield, what's the I'm going to do is I will transfer this call to one of my advisors. Okay. We'll just ask you some simple qualifying question, which I will provide you right now. All you need to do is you have to just answer this question by promoting education. Is that okay with you? Oh sure. That's right. So the first qualifying question they will ask you is that if you get a chance to get back to your studies in future, so how soon are you planning for it? Is it as soon as possible? One to two months, two to three months, or else probably four to six months? Oh, four to six months. All right. And the next question, then the next qualifying question they will ask you is that what are the subjects you're interested in? So do you have any favorite subjects or any subject in your mind right now? Um... 
How about politics? Or no, criminal. Yeah, politics, politics. Criminal justice would be cool. Criminal justice. Okay, that's a great choice. And the next question that we'll ask you is that, how are you planning to take the information? Is it online or on campus, or are you open to both of them? Uh, probably a little both. Both of them? Yes. All right. And where, the next qualifying question that we'll ask you is you that, where do are you from? Do you have a working computer with any internet access at your home? Oh, uh, one or two. All right, that's our problem. And the next question they will ask you in a very tricky manner. Just to see your manner and your intention, the question they will ask you is that Has anybody offered you any sorts of grants, free money incentive in order to talk to me or in order to participate in this call? Uh, no. At that time, what will be your smart answer to convince them? Not as far as I know. Alright, and the last question they will ask you is that Has anybody trained you or coached you in order to how to answer this question that has been asked you today? Nobody can force me to do anything. All right, so Mr. Hatful, we are all done now. Let me verify your details which I have it, okay? Uh-huh. All right, I have your first name as Ellis. You can spell it out as E-L-L-I-S. Your last name is Hatful, H-A-T-F-I-E-L-D. Yeah, what? Can I, can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? You're 28 years old. Are you married? No, no I'm not married. You're not married? Would you like to be? No. No, no, no. It's too soon, man. It's ready. Uh, too soon? I, th I think right now would be a perfectly good time for you to... No, no, actually, like... You know, wife and kids. Like uh, you got a good job. I think you need a wife and a no, kid. No, but... Uh, no, no, but still, you know. Do you have any pets? Like, Mary, it's very soon. It's very too soon to get married at the age of 28, you know? Do, 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 you, have any, do you have any pets? Do you have a pet, a dog, a cat, a horse? Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, I stay alone. You stay alone? I'm sorry. That sucks. Uh, all right. Well, Mr. Axel, let me tell you that we are on a recorded line, so I might lose my job by telling you all this thing, okay? Oh, I well, hope you yeah. might understand me. Oh, uh, oh, oh. I don't mind being recorded. All right. All right, so now, Mr. Axel, as you can see that you are all done from my side. What I'm going to do is... I will transfer this call to one of my advisors. We will ask you the same qualifying question. Just answer to them in a very correct manner, and that's how you're done with the process, and you will receive your free grant, okay? Okay. What's your name again? It's Edward. Edward. Okay, Edward. Thank you, Edward. All right. So, Mr. Axel, uh, have a great day. Just stay on the line, and a very good supper from my side. So Girl. that I can try to call you out of my advisor, okay? Yeah. I knew a vampire named Edward once. He was sparkly. Hello. Hello. Yes, who, who am I speaking with? Yeah, hi, Ms. Ellis. My name is Jerry Wilson, and I'm calling you from your college church on the Ricardo line. How are you today? I'm fine. What happened to Edward? Edward was nice. Uh, Edward? Edward. I was just talking to Edward. You are interested to study your for the education, is that correct? No, I'm not. I'm not interested, but if you want to tell me about it, you know. You are not interested. So, you will need to talk with. All right, give me one second. Okay, you take, you take, take your time. Hello? Oh, hello, who is this? Yeah, hello, Mr. Hartful. This is Edward. Hey, Hi, Edward, Mr. welcome Hi. back. Hi. I missed Hi. you. Hi. Told me, like, you wanted to speak to me? Yeah. You want to yeah, go... what happened, sir? Uh, do you want to go fishing sometime? I beg your pardon? Would you like to go fishing? I beg your pardon? Would you like to go fishing? You know, catch some fish? No. Fishing. Catching yeah. fish. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, I don't like those kind of things, you know, like fishing and all, it's not good, it's not like my kind of thing. Oh, what is your kind of thing, Edward? My kind of thing is like, uh, party with some friends, girls, night out, clubbing and all, you know, I hope. Oh yeah, I like girls, girls are cool. 
Mr. Hatfield, I'm really sorry to say again that we are on a recorded line. I can say that things to you, okay? Oh, oh, well, you just did. <laughs> I tell oh, you I, what, I, I want. I'm trying to be I, honest, but you know, I, the I, I want, trying to stop me from. I won't. I won't tell nobody. I beg your pardon? I won't tell anybody. I know you won't tell anybody, but you know we are on a recorded line. I might lose my job. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How much do they pay you for your job? I beg your pardon? How much do they pay you for your job? How much? I need to pay your pardon, I get you. Uh huh. Do they pay you well? Oh, so you're asking me like how much they pay me? Yes. Oh, sir, I can't say that on a recorded line. I think, I think. I like I might, see, if I tell me how much they pay me, they might call me again and they might tell me like, oh man, you're a just being a very bad person in our work and they would have to please kick me out of the job okay i hope you can understand what i'm trying to say uh, yeah yeah i understand i think you need a raise though you're good at your job you're a people person right. so, so actually we are done from my side so is it okay if i got to the call right to one of my advisors okay you can transfer your call to an advisor all right just stay on the line okay i'm staying on the line Hello, who am I speaking with? Uh, is it Jerry Wilson? Hey, Jerry, how are you, sir? Yeah, I'm good, well. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate it. Jerry? Yeah, hi. Uh, my... You have an accent. Uh, yeah, hi. My name is Jerry Wilson, and I'm calling you from your college church on a recorder line. How are you doing today, Mr. Ellis? Uh, I'm, I'm doing good. All right. You recently made an inquiry of the Wapok into continuing your further education. Get a promotion. How change your profession? Is it correct? Um. Repeat that. I'm so sorry. You recently made an inquiry of the Wapok into continuing your further education. Get a promotion. How change your profession? Is it correct? Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 The grant. The grant, right? Yes. The grant. All right. I'm so sorry. I can't help you anymore. Why? Thank you so much. And how do you rest of the day? Wait a minute. I want to uh, talk about the grant. Uh, let me tell you, sir. We are not affiliated with any U.S. government agency, so we are able to give you any grants when you thought I just got jobs and said anything like that. Wait a minute. Edward said that you were going to give me a grant. Edward says I'm going to give you grant money, right? Yes. I'm so sorry. Not true, sir. I'm not. I'm unable to provide any grants money to you. Wait a minute. Sorry. Edward lied to me. Edward lied. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Why? Why would he lie to me like that? I'm very sorry to bother you, sir. I'm so sorry. What? I can't disclose this sort of thing. I think Edward needs to be fired. He lied to me. I want to talk to a manager. You willing to talk to our manager? With our manager? Yes, I want to speak with the manager. Hello? 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 Hello, who am I speaking with? Hello, this is Edward, Mr. Hartford. Edward, what about my grant? They told uh, me I wasn't going to get my grant. Hey, Mr. Hartford, I tell you my advisor are too smart to judge people. They ask very tricky questions, but see you got yourself disqualified. You tell them that you are here for the grant. As I told you that if you tell them anything about the grant, they will simply think that you are greedy, you are here only for the grant, you are not promoting education. Oh, well, I want an education, but you said something about a grant, and I got excited about a grant. Yeah, I know it's about a grant, but as I told you that, uh, my advisor are very smart to judge people. If you sound greedy in front of my advisor, they will simply just tell you you won't be receiving any grant, okay? Well, that that's not fair to me. Oh, see, sir, I want you at first to me, sir. But that's... see, you have, lost in, you have lost in great opportunity, sir. I, I've lost a great opportunity to get a grant and get an education for the criminal See, justice sir. career. 
I'm, I'm heartbroken. See, I, yeah, I can understand that, but Mr. Hartzell, like, I told you while talking to my advisor, don't tell them anything about the grant. Oh. So you told them something about the grants, that's why they just, they didn't like that thing, okay? They think like you are greedy. And they are very smart enough to judge the people, okay? Oh, well, see, so can I talk to him again? Can I, can I speak with him again? Alright, Mr. Hartzell, like, will it be okay if I give you a call, like, from an, right now? Uh, I'm actually going out on a date tonight. Um, is you know. No, no. I like. I will give you a call back like, right after I'm hanging up this call. Okay. Why? Like, why are you? Ha two minutes, okay. Why are you hanging up the phone? See, I told you that we are on a recorded line, sir. Oh well. Okay. Well, I don't mind being recorded. Being recorded's fine. <laughs> Let's see if he calls back. I have gotten three of these calls today from scammers. I want to see if Edward's going to call me back here. Promising me more funds from the U.S. government. <sighs> he said two minutes. I'm going to give him about another, I don't know, a minute. Meantime, I'm going to sit here and look through uh, Facebook. So, I don't know if I'm the only one that gets these weird phone calls like this. And I get them constantly. Oh, it's ringing. Let's see who we got here. Hello? Yeah, hello, Mr. Marshall. This is Edward. Hey, Edward. Welcome back. We missed you. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry that call was hang up while I was talking to you. Uh-huh. Right, so, Mr. Marshall, just stay on the line so I can talk to the Marshall and my advisor. Okay. Are, 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 are you recording right. me again? Oh, yes, we are, sir. And make sure while talking to my advisor, don't sound greedy or else they will simply disqualify you. Okay. And they'll ask you many tricky questions. And make sure don't... Sound in greedy front of them. Just show your interest towards education, and that's how you're done with the process, okay? Okay. Don't let them know that you're here for the grant, okay? Just don't let them know about it, okay? Okay, so why did you tell me about the All grant right. if, I, if I couldn't say anything about the grant? I beg your pardon? How come you told me about the grant if I wasn't supposed to say anything to them about it? Uh, we are the Department of Funds, and my advisor, they are from the different department. They are from the education department, okay? Oh, so you're from the Department of Funds, and they're from the Par Department of Education. Uh-huh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Are you in the same building? I beg your pardon? Are you in the same building? No, no not the same building. Oh. Wait a minute. So are I you in... Are are you? 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 Are you in the same building as the uh, IRS? Are you in the same building as the IRS? No, no, no. Who told you about that? I had a phone call earlier today from the IRS. Oh, well, we are not from the same building. Oh, okay. So, so, like, if you are done from my side, too, will you give a the call right now to my advisor? Okay. All right, just stay on the way. Hello? Hello, who is this? Oh, man, I think it was Mr. Alex Hassel. That's me. Hi, sir. My name is Alex. I'm calling you from your college church. Sir, on a record line, sir. How are you doing today, sir? I I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking, Alex. Really appreciate it, sir. So, Alex, are you still interested to further your education, sir? Yeah, further my education, yes. I want to get into criminal justice. Super, sir. 
I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to be a, 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 a cyber police officer, or you know, go out and hunt scammers and stuff like that. Okay, that's a wonderful choice. Sir. So, Alex, on a scale of one to ten, can you give me a number which indicates your interest level about education? And being the most interested number on five is number Uh, twelve. Twelve. And so, and so, what program are you thinking about? Like, uh, like computer engineering, construction, business, healthcare, something in this? Criminal justice. Criminal justice. Yeah, c cyber securities and stuff like that. And, and what type of school are you looking at? Like online school, campus school, or are you for both of them? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, let me. What department are you with? What department are you with? So we are calling from your college, sir. Sure, we are here to help you find some schools for you, which can match your criteria. Oh. Just call me. You're, you're, you're from the Department of Education? Yes, sir. Cool. I was just talking to another gentleman. His name is Edward. He's a very nice man. You need to give him a raise. Okay, so what's your point say? Did he explain? Did he call me or something? No, he didn't say anything about giving me anything. He just said that you're going to talk to me about an education. Just uh, the you could help me get into school. Okay, no worries. I'll definitely. Are you still interested in further education, though? Oh yeah. That you know. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you a question? No. What's your point, Eddie? Sir. Uh, what is your point, sir? May I know what? What's your question? What was the question? Oh. You ask. Hold on a minute. I'm looking outside at my horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. T t t uh, this is a good time. I'm just watching my horses. He looks like he's uh, got a little lint. Yeah, my, I don't like it when my horses are hurt. You there? Hello? This is Ellis. Who is this? Hey, Jason, how are you? Hey, Jason, can you can you hold on one second, Jason? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you, Jason. Hey, hey, Jason, I have a question for you. Yes, definitely. Uh, do you do this every day? Is this a full-time job for you? Jason? Hello, Jason? Oh, Jason hung up on me. Well, I just wasted 23 minutes of a scammer's time. Several scammer's time. And they called me back. Anyway, guys, this is it. I've had enough fun with these idiots for one day. Um, this is like the third or fourth time today I've gotten a phone call like this. I figured I'd play with it this time, get it on camera. Um, what an idiot. Hey, I'll catch you guys later.